Hi guys, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make my festive fruitcake scones. Now I do call them uh, fruitcake scones because they do compose of certain um, ingredients that fruitcake also has. So let's go over the ingredients and then we'll start on the recipe. So what I have here is two cups plus two tablespoons of flour. In here I have added one quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I also have one quarter cup of granulated sugar. Here I have one whole egg, we also have another whole egg here in a separate little bowl with two teaspoons of heavy cream. If you don't have heavy cream, you can use milk. If you don't, I mean, most people do have milk on hand, but if not, you can also add in a little bit of water. That'll do the trick. So this is just an egg wash that I have made so that we can coat our scones with. Here I have a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of heavy cream. We're going to be using some vanilla extract, so about one teaspoon, half a cup of very cold salted butter. You can also use unsalted. And in, you can also, if you use unsalted, you can omit the salt that I added here. It's up to you. In here we have three tablespoons of shredded coconut two tablespoons of dried cranberries, two tablespoons of dried apricots, and two tablespoons of crystallized fruit. So I'm going to be doing mine in my standing mixer, but you can do it in a bowl with a wooden spoon. That'll work too. And you're also going to be needing to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll also need a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. Or if you don't have parchment paper, you can use some nonstick spray or a little bit of um, butter. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cube my butter into small cubes. And we will be adding that into our standing mixer along with our flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Okay, so now I'm just going to give my... Um, flour mixture here, a little mix just to kind of incorporate the salt, baking powder, baking soda in here. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to pour that in. Now that I have my butter cubed, I'm going to add those in. And with my paddle attachment, we are going to mix this mixture together until it resembles uh, like a crumbly mixture. I'll let you know uh, what it looks like when we get there. Okay, so as you can see, our mixture is like crumbly, like you can almost grab it together a bit. This is how you want it. So I'm just going to set this aside now and we're going to cream together our wet ingredients. So now into a separate bowl, we are going to add in our whole egg, our cream and milk mixture. Now if you only have cream or you only have milk, you can use all cream or all milk, that's fine. And we're going to add in our vanilla. And I'm just going to cream this. Okay, now just add your sugar. Now, um, from this sugar, I usually reserve probably half a teaspoon, just so I can sprinkle... Um, our scones before baking them but if you want to add in all the sugar and then just add a little bit more on the top it's totally fine make sure that's well incorporated and um, now we're ready to add it into our dry mixture okay so into our dry mixture we will now add our wet ingredients Oops. And now we'll mix it until it resembles a nice uh, doughy texture. So once you notice it's sticking to the sides of the bowl and to your paddle, 
this is what you want this is what you're looking for but before any of that I am going to add in my um, fruits in my coconut here but I'm just going to do it with a um, spatula and then we're going to sprinkle our counter with a little bit of flour and um, roll it out into a disc and then I'll show you what the next step is but for now I'm just going to add in my um, fruits. Okay, so just add in all the fruits and coconut. At this point, you could actually also add some white chocolate chips. I mean, that would be great too. But this is how I like to make mine. Now, it is a little difficult to add this in with the spatula. So the best way is to actually go in there with some clean hands and gently mix everything together. I'm going to finish up here and then we are ready to roll out our dough on our floured uh, counter and then bake them. Okay, so onto our surface, our lightly floured surface, we are going to, um, I guess, kind of roll out our scones. I'm just going to put about a tablespoon or so of flour. You don't want to put too much. You don't want to toughen up your scone batter or dough or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're just going to kind of bring it together. Okay. Just kind of. I like to make mine into uh, triangles. But most definitely you can make them into, um, you know, you can use like one of those donut cutters and you can make round ones, you can make whatever your heart desires. Okay, so what I like to do now is just kind of, you want to make them about three quarter inches thick. Make sure it's all nicely evened out okay so this is what you're looking for now I'm going to cut it into eight triangles So you get the picture and now I'm going to place it on my um, baking sheet. Now before placing them onto my baking sheet, I do like to remove any excessive uh, flour. And then um, before placing them into the oven, we are of course going to have to um, make sure you have a big enough baking sheet because they will definitely expand in the oven. And they're so beautiful, so festive. Because I am using two, uh, a round baking sheet, I'm going to be using two because I want them to have enough room on the pan. But I'm just going to briefly show you my first ones. Okay, so this is what you do. You take your egg wash 
and you just cover these scones completely. Okay, and you do that to each and every one of them. You don't want to overdo it, just enough to coat them completely. Okay, so now we'll take our sugar and just a nice gentle sprinkle over the top. Okay, so I will finish off with my other three scones on a different pan and we are ready to bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So now you'll be baking these for about 16 to 18 minutes. Keep an eye on them, but they will become a little golden around the edges and therefore you will know they are baked. All right guys, so my scones were in the oven for exactly 16 minutes. They are extremely hot of course. So I'm going to wait about five minutes and then we're going to plate them and try them. Hey guys, so here you have our beautiful festive scones. Now I'm just gonna break one in half so you can see the middle of them. Wow, just perfection. These are great with coffee, tea, some milk. I mean, you can even uh, warm them up after the next day. You can warm them up for about 20 seconds, place some butter in the middle. I mean, you can place a little bit of jam, whatever you fancy. I mean, totally up to you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive um, a notification every time I upload a video and that's it take care thanks for watching see you in my next video bye